when you have decided to change the compatible parameter to which value should you set it? And the answer is actually very simple. You should always set it to the default of the release you're currently in. So if you're upgrading your database to 19C, hopefully you're upgrading to 19C, you should then set the compatible parameter to 19.00. Don't use four digits. Don't change it with the release update. So even if you are upgrading to 19.13, you should still set the compatible parameter to 19.00. And you should never change compatible after a database patch apply, only following an upgrade. When we talk about compatible, we also have to talk about the multi-tenant architecture. Another good motivation for using a uniform compatible setting using the default of our release is in the multi-tenant environment. When you start to move PDBs around, there is a catch that you have to be aware of. You can have container databases that has different compatible settings, 12.2 and 19 in this example. If you want to unplug and then plug into another container da database, what happens on plugin? If the compatible setting is higher in your target CDB, the very second you do the create pluggable database statement, the compatible setting is automatically and silently raised to that of the target CDB. So in this example here, the PDB will then get raised to 19.00. And since we have already learned that the change of the compatible parameter is irreversible, it can only go up, it means that you cannot put the PDB back in the source CDB if that should be required because it has a different compatible setting. In your container databases, have a uniform setting of the compatible parameter, so you still have the freedom to move your PDBs around as you would like them to. When we talk about compatible, often we also talk about optimizers features enable, or actually customers mention the optimizers features enable. <clears throat> we already learned what the compatible parameter is about. Let's briefly touch upon optimizers features enable. It controls the use of certain new features in the database optimizer. Following an upgrade, I know that some customers prefer to keep optimizers features enabled at a lower level because it gives them the idea that they get good uh, plan stability after the upgrade. You might be lucky in some situations to achieve that, but if your motivation is to have plan stability, you should look at SQL plan management, which is a much better fit for that purpose. And you should only use optimizers features enable under the guidance of Oracle support. It's not a Swiss army knife or a magic wand that you can just use to turn on good performance. Now we are the upgrade guides and we often talk about auto upgrade. So how does auto upgrade behave when it comes to the compatible parameter? Well, luckily the developers listened to us and our recommendation. So they have uh, made it so that auto upgrade doesn't change the compatible parameter after an upgrade, unless you want it to. Because changing the compatible parameter re requires a database restart and some customers simply cannot afford the additional downtime it takes to change the compatible parameter after an upgrade. In that situation, you need to change the compatible parameter immediately after a successful database upgrade. If that is what you want, there are two parameters in your config file that you must set. First, you have to instruct auto upgrade to get rid of the GRP after a successful upgrade. And then that they should raise the compatible parameter for you automatically. But as with anything else with auto upgrade, it's super simple, only two parameters in your config file. When you are preparing and practicing your fallback scenarios, Hopefully you are practicing those fallback scenarios. Sometimes you need a database with a non-default compatible setting. How do you create such? If you just follow the wizard in DBCA, just next, 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 or use a create database statement, you will end up with a database with a default compatible setting, which will be 19.00 for a 19C database. But sometimes we need a database with a different, a non-default compatible setting. For instance, we needed a database with uh, a compatible setting of a lower release. It could be 12.20. How do you get that? 
Well, in DBCA, if you follow the wizard, you have to stop at one point and click on the button with the init parameters. It'll take you to a different windows where you can find compatible on the list and then put in the desired value. 